Welcome back to the Leisure Center here in Hereford for our second semi-final with this Grand Prix belt 1987. Here he is, the winner in 1985, Paul Murphy. There he is, Cole Murphy of Plymouth, 15 and a half stone of uh, Murphy. And opposite him, any second, we'll be seeing Super Destroyer Pete Roberts come in. There he is, a good looking man from Chatham, formerly of uh, Worcester. A man who's been to Japan wrestling more times than any other wrestler, I think. Very, very popular over there indeed. So it's Murphy versus Roberts for the second semi-final. The Hood go against Tom Tyrone of Strood in the final. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the second contest for the knockout tournament for the Grand Prix belt. The contest will be held over six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout. We'll decide the winner. We won't even let the announcement continue, Murphy. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you in the red corner, Skull Murphy. And his opponents in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, the super destroyer, Pete Roberts. Along with all the chairs, Pete Roberts. And, uh, Roy Harding takes the belt out, hands it to the timekeeper outside the ring for safekeeping. That won't be going on anybody's waist until March 28th, when the final takes place on television. Round one. So same as the, the first semi-final, six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Easily identifiable, of course. Pete Roberts in his usual pitch black gear, trunks, boots, elbow protectors, and knee protectors, all black. Robert's going to have probably with Murphy here. Murphy inclined to bend those rules just a little bit if the referee lets him get away with it. So Murphy has this uh, bandage on the right wrist. The bandage itself covered by a leather strap there, which could, I think, do some damage. But the referee's just been watching that pretty closely. Yeah. To Murphy. Yes, he's Taking over at the moment, Murphy, all right. Murphy with his new leotard here and tights. through the ropes and he's in trouble. Side headlock, Roberts. Switches to a chancery the other side. Loose chancery now. That's better. Murphy longing to land that clenched fist there. Not with the referees there, he won't. Nice referee 
knees hold beautifully laid on. Push a point to the side of the neck, just one hand on the neck, the other hand helping it. Remember, Skull Murphy's got this speciality, standing submission hold known as the Gator. Roberts will be trying anything to avoid that. Two minutes left, round one, six. Out of the ropes, he's asking for it, isn't he? Now he's hurt. Now he's hurt. Murphy's threatening that uh, punch. He'll only land it, of course, at the referee's blind side, and he's sure. Uh, quite uh, certain of one fact and that is that this belt belongs to him already this Grand Prix belt 1987 he won it in 85 Mike Bennett won it in 86 and he still thinks it's his for some reason but of course it goes to a different wrestler and probably a different weight each year there's his chance at the heavyweights again and maybe he will meet Tom Tyrone in the final, the end of March. Next five rounds will tell us. And there's the punch landed, and surely the referee spotted that. Bello in round one. Referee not sure whether that was a punch or not, but we could have seen, I'm sure you could at home. But the referee is still saying that the he's trying to persuade the referee the arm came across in a forearm smash to the stomach. Well, he's got away with it so far. Murphy already won. Probably falling down, or should be, but he got away. Seconds away, round two. Now, oh, of course, he's got everybody against him, even the Murphy fans in this uh, leisure centre here at Hereford. Are all for Pete Roberts now after that. They all spotted that punch, of course, but he only does it when the referee is blindsided to him. He just simply cannot guarantee that anybody else is going to see it. He doesn't mind if they do. Now, as the ref does like that right wrist and the other going right across the eyes. And at the elbows, Roberts can do something about it even if nobody else can. To the summit and straight out to the top two ropes. It lands on his feet. Six. Backdrop by Roberts, followed on cross press. He's got that leg okay, and there's the first ball in round two to Pete Roberts. Just one minute, 15 seconds into the round. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in one minute, 15 seconds of round two. First pinfall of the contest, Super Destroyer, Pete Roberts! And here we go with just how that happened. A perfect backdrop, but what Skull Murphy wasn't ready for was Pete Roberts following up with the cross press as part of the same move. Perfectly legal, and it worked. Count to three. Now 
idea is to hook it. Throw some of the tight rope then. Hits him out of the ring. And will this get a public call? The second and final, if it is. Nope. man outside the ring oh that must be a pub yes that's it second and final public warning run for second and final public warning to Storm Murphy and what's worse is Pete Roberts is really angry now five seconds to go back elbow right in the face on the bell yes Murphy overdoing this it's a pity because he's such a good wrestler it could be a great one and just will not stop bending the rules here. Skull Murphy, two public warnings against him, and that last one in the fourth round was his final one. Disqualification next. Pete Roberts, cool about the whole thing, but that back elbow didn't do him too much good, especially around the right eye. Second way, round five. Round five, two rounds to go. Still Pete Roberts in the all-black strip. The right leading. Cole Murphy, Plymouth, one fall to nil in the second semi-final. Two public warnings against Murphy. Now, can Murphy get one back here? He'll have to, if he wants to win in the last round, he'll have to get an equalizer in this fifth round to give himself a chance, because the round is finished by a score. A bit late, that guillotine, that guillotine, but, uh... Let's let go. There's that left again, stroke downwards on the top rope. And maybe the guillotine again ahead this time. Four heads to the front. He thinks he's got a knockout here, Murphy. He may have, too. No, he hasn't. Up at nine. And oh, the gator. The gator hold. There's the submission gator. Murphy's speciality and still won't leave go. He won't let go, Robert. He's submitted. He's submitted. He had to. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to let go then. So Murphy... Equalizing submission. One minute, 25 seconds of round five. One for each now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in one minute and 25 seconds of round five, the equalizing submission in favor of Skull Murphy. So one round to go, and he got the equalizer with the Gator, his favorite standing submission hold. And Roberts, after quite a time, had to submit. Second away for the sixth and final round. Final round six. Now, can Pete Roberts come back after that Gator hold on his neck? Must be, oh, he must be in a bit of a state, that neck. But knowing Roberts, he'll, he'll take anything. He won't give up for anything. But of course, Murphy going straight for the headlocks again. Anything to weaken that neck a little more. And a throw by the neck. Further weakener. Remember, two public warnings against Murphy, although the score is one fall each. And he's trying the gator again, but he can't quite reach this time. Now he can't get hold of his own arm to complete the gator. Four arm, good one by Murphy, perfectly legal. But he's setting himself up for that gator again. He's trying to. Yes, he's there it is. He's trying to, but he's. Robert's a little too tall for him, he's got the arm in the way, and the back elbow again saves him. Oh, he saw that coming a mile off. Oh, beauty, my God. Cross means to the throat, stopped him cold. 
And an uppercut. Now, Loris getting a bit of his own back now, and a public warning he gets. Round six, first public warning to Pete Roberts. So two public warnings to Murphy, one to Pete Roberts. And up comes that left knee to the stomach. Perfectly legally there, off the ropes. And a face down drop, knee drop. Roberts taking over a bit now. He's got three minutes to make it in, in this final round. And a punch to the stomach. Two public warnings against you already, says the referee. Is it disqualification? No. It's lucky he's got away with it. Pete Roberts has really taken a hell of a battering from Murphy, an illegal battering too in this uh, boat. Full Nelson now, Roberts. Switches to a half, and the inside of the forearm. Nice posting. And a punch again. Now, it didn't really land properly, so the referee quite right lets that one go. And a, is this backbreaker over the knee. Going for the gator again. Didn't work for him. Two minutes he's got. For one of these men to reach the final and take on Tom Tyrone on March 28th in the final of the Grand Prix belt. Oh yes, back over, caught him beautifully. Just 90 seconds. Cross press, but too late. Now quite easily out by Roberts. Both these men a little tired now, both very good wrestlers. And uh, pretty even, very evenly matched indeed, in fact. But just a minute to go, a little more than a minute to go to decide this contest. Remember, if it's a draw, it's up to the referee to decide on points. Certainly looks like it could be a draw. They're slowing up quite considerably now. 45 seconds left only. Forearm uppercuts have not quite so much effect, especially Pete's back elbow. Now that had an effect. Half a minute. Back elbow to the forehead. The crowd here know perfectly well here at the Leisure Centre Hereford that there's very little time left. 20 seconds. They want to see Pete do it nicely over the top cross press, getting hold. This is his last chance, baby. Now he's got the left shoulder blade off. Oh, nearly. Very nearly. Eight seconds only. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, too late. It's a draw, so it's up to the referee, Peter Zakash, to announce the winner on points. One fall each. And in comes Roy Harding, the MC, looking to get the gen from Peter Zakash here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, each wrestler gaining a fall apiece, the result should be a draw. But, Murphy, you've had two public warnings. Pete Roberts, you've had one public warning. On that basis, Roberts is the winner! So Roberts wins on points, and because he had less public warnings than his opponent. Very good idea indeed. Murphy very angry indeed. But Pete Roberts very happy. Goes into the final against Tom Tyrone, which we'll see on television on March 28th. Anyway, whether he likes it or not, Pete Roberts is the one. Ladies and gentlemen, winner of the contest,
Super Destroyer, Pete Roberts. And ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for Skull Murphy. Not too much appreciation, I'm afraid. He's a really angry man, but I'm afraid he's lost it. And it's Tom Tyrone to meet Pete Roberts in the final. And with that, it's goodbye from all of us here at Hereford. Remember, next Saturday, our main bout is between Mark Rocco and Johnny Saint, two world champions. That should be something really to watch. Till then, have a good week.